Get ready for an unforgettable week in the life journey as we take you from the bustling streets of New York to the serene shores of Florida's Treasure Coast. Our adventure begins at the picturesque Danford's Waterfront Marina Resort, where we soak in stunning views and indulge in classic New York pizza. Then we're heading south to the beautiful beaches of the Florida Treasure Coast. Picture endless sandy shores, crystal clear waters. We'll also explore an amazing speakeasy, distillery, and restaurant. Oh, and did we mention that unexpected twist? Amy's car battery dies, adding a bit of drama to our journey. But hold on tight, because it's all part of this wild ride from the northeast to the southeastern coast. Join us for unforgettable memories, incredible places, and a whirlwind week in the life. Are you ready? Let's go. That's really nice. I would drink a whole pint to that one. We're currently driving from Charleston to New York with this beautiful view of New York City. And let me tell you, I hate being in traffic, but this view makes it all worth the while. We're staying at Danford's in Port Jefferson, a beautiful waterfront harbor resort. Can't wait to show you around. Good morning from Port Jefferson, New York. We are here for two days and then we're gonna switch to a new place, but figured I'd try to capture some of our experience while we're here. And uh, we have a waterfront view here at Danford's. Beautiful hotel, highly recommend. Uh, it does look a little bit kind of like it needs a, a rehab, but uh, overall it's like super nice, really nice. It's just the sea really beats things up. So, but take a look, this place is stunning. You have the harbor right here. And then there's a ferry building, I mean a ferry, there's a ferry that goes to Connecticut. You can see it right over there. And then we have all the boats, big yachts. And uh, there's a dog park over there. And a regular person park. They have some statues. It is a beautiful 75 degree day right now. Um, and you can walk all along the water. There's a walkway down that way. It's actually spectacular. Ye yesterday we um, we got into to here, and the, the sunset was just incredible. But yeah, that's what we're doing here. We're hanging out, we're working, and we're seeing family. We're here for kind of personal reasons, but um, we are uh, we're going to be here for the week. Um, Amy's here as well and Ellie's here where's Ellie Ellie we'll see what we can show you around town and oh here's Ellie hi hi Ellie where are you doing are you gonna go to, where are you gonna go later are you gonna see Papoos with Papoos and then I you gonna go help do the house, help the house? Okay. We can. Alright. Where's your ball? You wanna go play ball? Yeah. We took her earlier to the dog beach over there. It's really nice, actually it goes way all the way down to there. And you just keep walking. Very neat. Alright, quick little room tour of our stay in Port Jefferson. We're staying at Danford's. This is pet friendly, as you can see, Ellie is here. And this is a lovely room. We're on the third floor of the Beacon building. And this is a waterfront view. So you come in, it's just like really third floor, vaulted, beautiful vaulted ceilings. You have really good, like navigational wallpaper with sailboats and compass. Nice little like bookshelves built in, great length full length mirror and then there's like a beautiful little place for coffee Keurig in the room refrigerator down below little dresser built in ice chest and then down this way you have like a little table another built-in bookshelf we're right on the end of the building as you can see here and then there's like a little area for work so we're gonna work from here tomorrow and then this is Port Jefferson so 
kind of founded by one of our founding fathers. Beautiful kind of colonial Dutch buildings. We'll walk around. Did another video a couple years ago, Port Jefferson. Nice little coasters here. And then really cool bathroom. It's got like a heater built in, heat lamps right here. And some heat lamps, glass shower here. Very cool. And then pretty big. And then there's a window here. That's the main street down there below. No restaurant over there. And the same view here. People walking, people walking. Cars coming down the street. And uh, that is the bathroom. Really cool. Awesome. Here for three nights. And uh, they also have really nice art as well. Kind of the heydays of Port Jefferson. You can see everybody with their umbrellas. I used to have a restaurant there. And then this was a shipbuilding town. Jefferson had boats built. And uh, this is our view out the out the window. Really cool. Look at that beautiful sunset there. And then there's also a dog beach. There's a dog beach right over there. That whole strip is a dog beach. I think it's gonna do just fine for a couple of days while we're here. What do you think, Elle? Is it a good one? It's a good one. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. But they all disappear, they will let you down, so. We better stick together, let's come whatever when I'm coming home tonight. All right, we're back at the hotel. Help my dad power wash the house. And then we got a slice of pizza. And now Ellie is all pollened up because it's pollen season here. And I wiped her down. You got fresh paws and I did your ears. And you're ready for bed, right? So you say goodnight dudes, we'll see you in the morning. Such a good girl. Beautiful day out here. Sun is now shining. And it's about 11 o'clock and all the clouds have gone away. Most of them at least. And the ferry's back. All right, we stopped at the um, we stopped at the Seaport Delicatessen and got ourselves a bacon, egg, and cheese. And I already tried it. Unfortunately, it is delicious. I'm gonna try it again. Eggs are cooked over medium. Mmm. A lot of bacon on it. Eggs are cooked perfectly. The roll is awesome. 
Mmm. Ellie wants some bacon. Good. Bacon for Ellie. Today there's two ferries leaving from Port Jeff. The Grand Republic and the Park City. Busy morning going to Connecticut. I think there's some people that actually will work over there. But uh, usually it's just one. But today, there's two. Huh. Interesting. This is the shipyard building and originally used to build ships right here. Now I think it's like a museum and a welcome center. Pretty cool. Refrigerator stuff is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I don't think there's a whole lot in there. Oh, I gotta take my uh, probiotic. Ellie, what are we doing? We're gonna go see Papoose now? Okay. All right, we're packing up and hitting the road. This place was really nice and we will be back like i said i've been here a million times never stayed at this hotel but didn't have a reason to so if you're ever in, if you're ever in eastern north long island stay here at danford's oh, very good. see you there's oh, two of them today it must be a busy two two of them every day all day today Interesting. What did you think about Danford's? Did you enjoy it? I feel like you barked at your share of people. Are you wagging your tail? Are you got mama wagging? Oh. Alright, we gotta get ready. We're gonna go see Papoose now. Oh, you're gonna go for a car ride? You got stuff in your eye. Okay, we haven't been doing updates, but we got a significant update now. Update. We just got pizza, and this is real New York pizza. Look at that pepperoni placement. Boom. Perfectly spaced. Chicken parm pizza. Nice and crispy. I mean, you can't beat it. And then over here, we have a garlic knot pizza crust. Wow. And then this is like a tomato pesto. This is going to be delicious. Going for a walk right now, taking a break from work, and we're going down to what is called Seacliff Beach. But there's a stairwell, and we got to get back to finish up our day. Um, but Long Island Sound is straight ahead. Beautiful neighborhood here. And you can see Ellie trying to lead the way because she smells. The salty hair, the salty air, and she just wants to get down. She got beach vibes. We always say you got beach vibes when she smells that salt. We finished off our week in New York and we drove south to Charleston for one day and then we went on to Florida. We're staying in Vero Beach for five days, four days, I forget. Not very long, but we love Vero Beach and we go there every year. Good morning from somewhere in Florida. We are in Titusville. We are heading to Vero Beach. We have Ellie here for the ride. Hi, baby. We've got to get all packed up and head out. We're going to spend some time, find a maybe a dog park, and Daddy Ellie lunch, and then Ellie is going to go to her Where's she going? Village Pet Inn, like she usually does while we're at Vero Beach, staying at Disney for, we're here for four days. And uh, after all the excitement in Iceland, uh, all the trekking and snow and wind and what else, rain and sleet, snow plows, waterfalls, northern lights, we are gonna go hang out on the beach Maybe see a museum or two? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Hell? Maybe we go kayaking? You want to go kayaking? And go swimming? Maybe go swimming. But that's what we're doing. We're heading out. Work week is over. Spending a couple days of time on the beach and the weekend. And we'll see what else. We're going to go to breweries. We're going to go to cideries, restaurants. Let's do it. Let's go.
You wanna come up front? Here, come on up front. Here, come on. You wanna come up here? Come on. Okay, good job. Are you ready to go? Are we ready to go? Okay, let's go see. Okay, Kava didn't work out, so we went to Seven Brew and we got ourselves a toasted marshmallow latte and Ellie got a pup cup. Right on, good girl. After a long drive, we stopped at American Icon for a sampler and some wings. We are at American Icon Brewing. We got a little bowl for Ellie. We got some treats and we got ourselves a sampler. We have some wings coming and uh, this is where it starts, right El? You're gonna go to Village Pet Inn after and hang out. Maybe we'll get you on Saturday to go for a walk, go to the park maybe. And uh, yeah, long drive, we're here and uh, let the vacation begin. Oh, he's got a little treat action. Very good. Is that yummy? And you got sweet potatoes too, right? Yum. Okay, the first one was a power plant red. No, amber. And that was actually really good. Let me try the dunk. That's really good. Wow. Drunkle Weiss, it's called. Mmm. That's delicious. We're two for two. This place sometimes doesn't have great beer, but so far, we're batting a thousand. This is the Dra Java Brown. Cheers, dudes. Cheers to you. Ooh, yeah. These are really good. Is that good? Get some water, too. All right, wings have arrived. We got barbecue and Parmesan garlic with blue cheese, of course. And check these bad boys out. Yeah, it's a good one. You just had one. Here, you want a small one? Here's a small one. Here you go. Get it. Get it. French fry. No. You're ridiculous. All right, this one is the Dreamsicle. It's a sour. Ooh, that's good. It's not super sour. You can taste the orange for sure. That's pretty good. Okay, we're now at Publix. We're gonna stock up on some food for the week. We have to get coffee, breakfast items, some fruit for the beach, maybe some snacks and sandwiches. We'll also need some cold frosty beverages. We're at Publix. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my bullshit till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Okay, there's a room tour of 2403. Just got here and we're right off the lobby. We are in a standard room, so no ocean view. This is facing the front of the hotel. So you walk in and you have a great little kitchenette, like all Disney, DVC, uh, Disney, like uh, DVC comes with this little kitchenette. DVC comes with this little kitchenette and uh, you get a microwave, you got plates and cups, toaster, paperware, plus, or yeah, no put. I guess they did away with the paper. They brought back the plates and the mugs, so that's good. It's an ice chest. You have glasses. Oh, they switched to Keurig. Good God. Keurig finally at the resorts. I'm going to have to go back to Publix to return my coffee because now they have pods. I mean, it's a good thing, but kind of didn't expect it but that's good they got Joffrey's pods down here you have nothing you have a little fridge a reader um, you have your recycle and your trash and then you have your bathroom here stone counters nice subway tile and you have your h2o amenity 
Sea Marine shampoo. And uh, it's got like kind of a green tone to it. Very beachy. And then in here, you have luggage rack, a pack and play. And then they've switched over to now instead of the two beds, you get the pull down for, I think it used to be two beds. And uh, it's a pull down, pull down bed. And then you have your regular bed here. You have a little counter, really nice, large, flat screen TV, Blu-ray player. You have plenty of storage. You got some storage here. You got six drawers. And then you have some more drawers over there and a nice full length mirror. It's also a full length mirror in the back. And then uh, you got this guy here, beautiful. Must have been part of the renovation because they didn't have it last year. But now, pull this bad boy down. And wow, turtles and fishes playing away. Very cool. And the bed looks comfortable. And that's that, and that's your bed. Now, standard view. Let me show you, it's off to the side, usually it's in the back. We have a nice palm tree. It's kind of blocked by the front desk, so people drive in and it's kind of more quiet. I think I like this better. The other one was like right at street level almost. And uh, we'll be able to see a sunset from here. And then the pool's right over there. You have Flo's Rentals and the gym, restrooms, pool, slide, and mini golf. It's right over there. So little balcony here, cozy for coffee in the morning. And that's all she wrote. And that's our room tour at Disney's Vero Beach. We're gonna be here for five days and uh, it's really a lovely room. Can't beat this. Very nice, very good. And I think uh, once we get unpacked, Amy's on her way here now. Get unpacked and relax. Very good. Well, okay, I'm back. It has been a crazy day. Um, we had a change of plans. We were gonna leave Ellie back in Charleston and um, turns out that the place we were trying to stay at with her uh, didn't have any reservations. So um, we kept a reservation down here. We usually come down every year. There's other Vero Beach vlogs. I'll put them up above so you can watch them. But um, man, it was like a whirlwind. It was like all of a sudden I'm taking Ellie to Florida with me and we had to pack all her stuff, get all my stuff together. And then in the meantime, like I'm working a full day of work. Um, and, and then I drove up until almost midnight last night and got to our hotel. We stayed at the Hampton Inn. Ellie and I, you saw, came down, had some lunch, checked in. We're finally unpacked and ready for vacation. So because I had to leave early, um, Amy, she, uh, she had some executives in town for her work. And so, and I had to get here today because if we would have left after work, Ellie wouldn't be able to be checked in because you have to have all pets to the place by like 5 p.m. So that didn't work out. So we both drove, she's on her way here. I went and got groceries. We're pretty much locked and loaded for the week. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. I went to New York just recently for my father. He was doing um, some medical procedure. It's kind of personal, don't want to get into it, but he's an older gentleman um, and he's in pretty good health, but I think he's he's had some trouble lately and he had some um, he had some work done and he's recovering. He, rec he actually came out of the hospital Walked out of there, no problem, no wheelchair needed, and he's resting at home. So we were up there for the week, helping out, cleaning the house, throwing things out, trying to get him situated, you know, fixing things and moving stuff, putting, we put the air conditioner into his window because it's too heavy for him to carry. And then on top of that, we left on the weekend before, so this is after Memorial Day that I'm filming this, but we left on that Saturday morning, we drove straight from New York to Charleston, went back to work. We had a day to rest, went back to work on Tuesday, um, and then worked on, I worked Tuesday and then I left and I worked this morning from the hotel for half a day. And then we have Thursday, Friday off, and then we're gonna work, uh, we'll go back to work next week. I think we leave here on Monday. So 
It has just been a crazy, hectic couple of weeks, and now we're at the beach hanging out at our favorite place, Vero Beach. That's kind of what we've been up to. Ellie is doing really well. She just hams it up driving in the car. Oh, and then the other news. God. So, uh, you know, I bring my drone everywhere. I try to get really good footage. Well, brought my drone to New York, went back to the beach that I grew up with. I have flown this drone all over the place. I've flown it here at Vero Beach, which I'm going to do also. I've flown it down at um, Hutchinson Island. I've flown it in Iceland. You know, you name it. I bring it with me. So we go down to the beach near where I grew up. We walk down to the beach usually is like our daily thing. We'll walk down to the beach and we'll walk home. It's about a mile and a half. Put the drone up in the air, flying it around. Everything's great. All of a sudden on the video, I see the drone fall from the sky. I see it kind of dwindling down, spinning down, lands in the water. I'm like, did a bird hit it? I don't know. Did a bird, how did it, it's in the water. I almost didn't believe it was in the water. I was like, Abe, um, my drone just went in the water and it's not coming out. I mean, it is shocking. If you have a drone and you've ever lost a drone, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it was gone. So it was close to shore. My GPS was showing it close to shore. So crazy me. Now, it's just finishing winter. I mean, May is still cold in New York. So I went and I bought, I bought a snorkel and goggles, and I went in the friggin' water. So cold, almost got hypothermia. So I've, you know, I start swimming, and I'm looking down. It's very wavy, so the water is very murky. Not a good idea. Started to cramp up. Now, I've been trained in... Uh, safety of life at sea when I used to work on the cruise line for Disney. When you get cramps, that's the beginning of hypothermia. So what happens with hypothermia, your body goes into shock. Typically, you will get cramps from swimming in the cold water. Well, once the cramps set in, you can't swim, and then your body starts to take on water, and then you drown. And that's how a lot of people die of hypothermia, as they, their body systems lock up, they go into shock, and I was getting that kind of shock system. So at that point where I felt I couldn't, I started to really cramp up and I almost couldn't kick my legs, I started using my arms to get me back to the shore because um, I had been swimming for about 15 minutes in this like probably 50 degree water, you know, and it doesn't take much. But I gave up. I said, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of this water, and I made it out. I thought... I don't know. I thought the worst was going to happen because my arms worked. So I just kind of kicked on my back. And, and from there, I, uh, from there I, I made it back to shore. And then a friend of mine, he has like paddle boards and surfboards. We thought of maybe doing that. I'm like, well, it's just, it's gone. It's going to be broken anyway. I'm not even going to try it. I couldn't see. I looked down in the water a couple times with my goggles. Bitter cold. Good thing I had replacement service from DJI. So this is a flyaway service. You do have to pay a little bit of money, but it's not as much as buying a new one. So I am over the moon. Thank God I paid for recovery service. And uh, yeah, brand new one right here. So hopefully I don't drop this one out of the sky. I don't know. Lately, I've just been crazy just all over the place and uh, hard to focus. And then, you know, with my dad's things and then my thing, and I'm busy at work. I've, I've got way too many projects. I mean, it's like piling on. I want to close a couple of these so that I can get done and have a little less weight on my shoulders. Um, but it is, it is a lot, a lot to take on lately and probably why I just got decaf coffee. I don't know. My brain is just, anyway, that's, this is our update vlog. I, I don't do many updates, but channel is doing really well just past 9,000 uh, subscribers so hi to everyone if you're new here leave me a comment and let me know where you're coming from uh, I had a big spike in Colombia I hope you're doing well down there in South America what else what else I think that's it I think um, just busy trying to stay stay afloat at work and and uh, at home trying to keep the house going we just uh, just have so much going on so this week we're chilling and we're relaxing. All right. Breakfast is served. It's the next day. And Amy and I are going to the beach. Got ourselves coffee. 
croissant sandwich and a banana. Today is gonna be awesome. Got our towels set up, beach is blue, beers are getting cold, water's ready, sunscreen. We're in for a relaxing day hanging out at Disney's Vero Beach. Originally they had a like a breakfast buffet on Sunday with characters and then I guess due to COVID it kind of went away and now it's back and only on Sundays. I think they used to have on Saturday and Sunday but now you have Sundays. They're still doing s'mores on Wednesday night and Saturday and there's a sing-along, a lot of kid-friendly music and then s'mores at the end. Oh you can eat s'mores. Pool party at what time? 1? 1 p.m. pool party? Oh Friday and Saturday? Okay. You'll have to check the schedule. Yeah. So I asked last night and she kind of corrected me when I said Friday. She's like, yeah, it's Saturday. But you check your event guide. It might change, I guess, throughout the year. Pool party at 1 p.m. We'll probably go up there for a little while and come back down. These chairs with a DVC discount, I think we're 35 for two chairs and an umbrella today. It's just really relaxing. They actually raised the beach up because for a long time they had um, the seaweed was coming up near people's seats. And then with erosion, I think every couple of years they build the beach up and you can see it's kind of like a drop. And then you have no seaweed. Nice, beautiful, powdery sand. Drinks have arrived. I've got a cucumber mojito. Let's try it. That's refreshing. You can taste the cucumber and the mint, a little tartness from the lime. Cheers, dudes. Cheers to you. Okay, beers packed, lunch ready to eat. I got a Bucky sandwich. Back to the beach. When it gets too hot, you just have to go and get in the water. Tide's coming in. A little bit of seaweed out here. But otherwise, fantastic. It's because the tide's coming in and uh, it's pulling the seaweed out. Hot sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. Blue waters, oh! Barbecue on the beach, good times. If I put this underwater, you think you'll be able to see anything? waves it's not super wavy but every once in a while there's a big wave that comes here oh it's absolutely fantastic water is like the perfect temperature super blue day on the beach it's worth a million bucks Amy was saying earlier that we have traversed the whole East Coast from New York to Florida. So, not a bad, not a bad thing. A lot of work though, a lot of driving, 
A lot of traffic. I turned it around, worked a couple days, got in the car, came down here. Being in New York, and then Charleston, and then Vero Beach. Oh, man. Unreal. But life is short. I think you gotta take advantage of the time that you have. And sometimes it's tiring, but man, it's so worth it. The other thing about Vero Beach is, while it's a tourist attraction now, this was a huge causeway for pirates. And uh, Spanish galleons would be coming back from South America with uh, treasure and pesos and coins and things like that. And sometimes they get caught in like a, a rogue storm, hurricane, because obviously they didn't have weather back then. So they had to chart the oceans and several boats, oh, big wave, several boats actually crashed right off the shore of Sebastian, which is which is right over there. They're still looking for them today. There's, there's people who actually still scuba dive and look for different treasures. We just came back from the beach. Massive wave hit me, but it's a vibe. Right, Aim? It's a vibe. We're just sitting in the water, swimming around. Dip behind the clouds for a minute. It was a little chilly. Back from the beach, we are getting changed. We're gonna go out for some sushi and hopefully catch the sunset at Captain Hiram's. Um, had a great day on the beach. I need a little coffee and pick me up and we out. Got a little sunburn too. You can see my face is kind of red. I'm heading over to dinner at Wasabi Thai. Found this place last time. It was delicious. We started out with some crab ragoons. And then Amy got a stir fry, chicken peanut stir fry, and I got some sushi. I don't remember which rolls they are, but they were fantastic rolls. Both of them. You don't think it smells good? It's got a lot of onions in it. We can take one home. After dinner, we stopped at a local ice cream shop for a cone and a cup. The ice cream is actually really good. We went and watched the sunset. Elephant ears on bottom. Sun's going down on a fantastic day. Got our ice cream. I got banana cream pie. It has marshmallow, bananas, and pie crust. Amy got chocolate, and then she got chocolate peanut butter, and then birthday cake underneath. We're here at the Redneck Riviera. If you have seen our other Vero Beach, we take Ellie here to go swimming. So we're here watching the sunset. It's the next day and we are headed to Sailfish. Right in downtown Vero Beach, they have delicious food and beer. We're here at Sailfish, getting a little bit of lunch, about 10 or 12 beers on tap, and I got a flight and then they have a lot of food here as well. 
and I got the tuna nachos coming out soon. Last time we came here, I got the fish dip, and it was pretty good. Not sure. I can't remember it, but I'm sure it was good. It's local. Got the tag and release, which is an amber ale. Don't poke the bear, which is a double honey blonde ale. I got the red ale and the Moore Creek stout. It's a milk stout. And then here's my tuna nachos. They look really good. They smell even better. Try my first beer. A little bitter, but good. Let me try the honey, double honey. Mmm, I like that better. This is the red ale. Mmm, that's really nice. I would drink a whole pint of that one. And then the milk stout. Oh, the milk stout is my favorite. That one's really good. It's gonna be hard to do. Tuna. Mm. Can't go wrong with tuna nachos. They're so good. Dry hop double honey blonde ale with guava. With what? With guava. With guava? It's right, double try it. dry hop double honey blonde ale with guava. All right. You know I hate hoppy beers. You watch the channel. We don't like hoppy brew. That's really, really strong. Oh. oh. Quick little update here. So we left uh, Sailfish Brewing and Amy's car didn't start. We went back in, had a beer at the brewery and somebody recommended to start it with their jumper cables. Lauren from 21st Lauren. Amendment. Lauren go from, see her. Yeah, go see her at 21st Amendment. We may go see her tomorrow and give her a big tip. She um, she had a battery like Portable charger jumper. jumper. It didn't work. They went to go plug it in. So it wasn't charged. And then she jumped us. She waited we made for it. somebody to move and moved her car. Yeah, she went out. She went above and beyond. Above and beyond. Then we went into AutoZone right away. Once we had the car started, went to AutoZone and Matthew, he was above and beyond. Gave us tools, helped us change it. We gave him a nice tip, and we got a new battery. The day is continuing. We're going to Walking Tree. We're heading to Walking Tree. We need a beer after all that. Next stop is Walking Tree Brewery. Very busy. Very busy. We're inside Walking Tree, and it looks like there's a party here for uh, teachers. teachers. Maybe the end of school. It says Happy Retirement, Mr. Something. So they're all over there having a good time, partying it up. And uh, it's Friday, it's happy hour, and we need to cheers. Cheers to a new battery. Oh, that's so good. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, but it's really good. Like super good. You want to try mine? Walking tree was a success. We have a really great breeze coming through right here. Heading to Bobby's. One thing I gotta say is I love Bobby's. Every time we come here, we go to Bobby's. It's always a pleasant time and food is magnificent. So if you're going to Vero, you've gotta stop by Bobby's and get the prime rib. Welcome to Bobby's Restaurant, a culinary gem in the heart of downtown Vero Beach. Step inside and enjoy a warm, inviting atmosphere where exquisite flavors, friendly service come together. This is an unforgettable restaurant. If you're in Vero Beach, be sure to check it out. Bobby's has salads, steaks, sandwiches, wraps, quesadillas, nachos, burgers, and even fresh seafood. We're here for the prime rib. Okay, we're starting it out with a blue moon. Blue moon and we both got the prime rib because that's just what we do. <laughs> prime rib, medium, baked potato, seasonal vegetable. First course is here. We got a house salad with ranch dressing. Amy too. She's got the same thing. And then we got some hot rolls. Prime rib has arrived and I am so excited. It looks like a really nice piece. Not too much fat. 
Got our horseradish sauce, baked potato, seasonal vegetable, and a little bit of an orange. And wait on a little bit of jus. And uh, this is gonna be delicious. Here's the jus. Oh, so good. Poured a little bit more over there. Golden. I just love their baked potato. It's always so perfect and hot. So good. Best thing about this place is they write all their checks by hand. I barely read it. <sighs> what an adventure that was. All worked out splendidly. All right, we're heading down. We're gonna go see the SpaceX Starlink launch. In about 10 minutes. T minus five minutes. All right, we got less than uh, two minutes left. And we have a launch. It's coming, 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 coming. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Just watch the launch. Wow, I don't know how much came up on video, but that was awesome. No words. It just was just ridiculous. So cool. Night launches are the best. And with that, I'm gonna say good night. Never figure this coffee machine out. Maybe it'll go now. Oh, this isn't going. Come on, coffee. Brew. It's not hot enough yet. You want? Oh, Tim Hortons? I oh, got it. I gotta go back over there. Bring this outside too. Yep, it's a beautiful morning out here. A little windy, but pretty beautiful. Birds are being birds. Palm trees are swaying. Leg is just living it up over there. Okay, breakfast today is Got a croissant with egg and cheese, Tim Hortons coffee. We're just hanging out here on the balconies, watching some YouTube. And then we're gonna go to the beach. It's gonna be a great day. We're all set up on the beach now, and it is super windy. Almost to the point where you can't go swimming. But I'm gonna try to get clobbered by the waves later. They're huge. And out here, sunny day, lots of wind. We got our umbrella angled and uh, trying to stay out of the sun because we're still burnt. Put a lot of sunscreen on. Can't beat this. Margarita. Cheers, dudes. Cheers to you. Successful windy beach day. We're back. Time for some coffee. Get a little bit of recharge. And we're going to 21st Amendment in Vero Beach. That's who saved us yesterday. So we're going to 
we're going to check it out and uh should be a good time and then we may go to dinner at ocean grill which is one of our favorite places to eat here in vero food is just amazing all right beach was a success we're all cleaned up and we're going on a date night Welcome to 21st Amendment Distillery in Vero Beach, where innovation meets craftsmanship. Named after the amendment that ended prohibition, they specialize in exceptional spirits crafted from local ingredients, sustainable practices. Explore their whiskeys, vodkas, and gins, and don't forget about the food, because it is spectacular, paired perfectly to enhance your experience. Great service, delicious cocktails, hot, delicious food, all made from scratch. And oh yeah, the service is fantastic. This is a must do when you're in Vero Beach. I got the menu here and it's kind of like a speakeasy vibe. They make all of their mixers and like tails all are like made from scratch. You know, they're just so like crafty. Amy and I got the cat's pajamas, which is agave, grilled pineapple, lime, spicy chipotle, and black salt. But they have an old-fashioned, they have, uh, wow, Cosmo. And then here, the tap tails are all pre-made, but you can actually get a flight. So I think that's what I'm going to do next, is get a flight of four. And then you can also take home spirits. And that is going to be a black salt rim. Oh then they also have food here, all homemade in house. The prices are actually very reasonable. They have empanadas, we got the rip ricotta and the meatballs. They also have deviled eggs, they have charcuterie, bacon. And then it's uh, run by a veteran, and this is his passion. So, and it's pet friendly. So that's another plus that it's pet friendly. This looks delicious. Oh, it's spicy. And spicy. Our food has showed up. We got meatballs, crostini, and whipped ricotta. You guys, if you're in Vero Beach, you have to try this place. It is so unbelievable. Like the most perfect meatball you've ever eaten. Ricotta toast with the hot honey. Fresh ricotta. Oh my God. We're supposed to go to dinner at Ocean Grill. I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Here's the whip ricotta. It's got a hot honey on it. Mm. Messy. This one is the Marilyn Monroe. These drinks are ridiculously good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna continue eating. Maybe just have food here and not go to Ocean Grill for dinner. But these are the empanadas, they're beef, and they have a house-made hot sauce. So good. All right, these are the empanadas, and they're beef, and then there's a house-made hot sauce. This is the Marilyn Monroe. It's like bubble gum. These empanadas are amazing. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for our week in the life video. Sun is setting on this week and it was really great. Pretty good day today. We'll see you tomorrow. And if we don't see you tomorrow, we'll see you in the next one. Bye dudes.